Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Mikey, and yes, I'm coming back. Back at it again with the video, but today what we're going to be doing is kind of like a light unboxing, but not too crazy, not too like flashy, but you know, just some things I picked up over the past, I guess, a couple months. One of them took super duper long, and it just wasn't what I expected it to be, and I was kind of disappointed. It's pretty sad, but... Other than that, a lot of the things I did get was for a good deal. One of them was being restocked that I copped online with F3. If you don't know what F3 is, it's basically Feather and it is a bot um, IO. And also, uh, I think they just released an app that you can buy on the App Store for $25. So if you don't have F3, I mean, hey, it is what it is. Shout out to Manual Gang that be just cooking it all the way because, you know, that's just what they be doing sometimes. But nowadays, it's. It's getting to that point to where I might have to switch to the other side. But other than that, it's been a crazy month. Um, a lot of restocks happened. The Sean Weatherspoons, the um, Sakai Blazers just restocked today. And um, also there was, I think, the Air Max Schematics, which is the one I exclusively got, which is garbage. I didn't want them at all. <laughs> and not only that, they don't have resale value, so why even go for them? A lot of the things that I took an L on, definitely the Travis Scott um, Air Force Ones, it just, that was not gonna work anyway, so it is what it is. I almost got banned from my Nike sneakers account, but I gained it back, so we're still trying to cook up in here, but sneakers, Get your shit together so yeah this is just gonna be a light unboxing video also a pickups video so it's it's really light like it's only like a few things but some content's better than no content so let's just get right into what we got right now all right so first up is a package but i already know what this is because i got it off restock on the website well not the website but i got it off restock from f3 able to manage the cop and your boy got more stickers than than I should have, I guess. Oh, snap, you get another pin. It says, it says Lush. That's, that's pretty cool, I got another pin. What else did we got in here? Oh, that's it. So, it is the Supreme Shoulder Leather Patchwork Bag. So it is right here, as you can see. It's pretty dope, it's got the imprint on it. I don't know if the bag, the bag's kind of covering it. It says right there, I'm not unbacking it. For resale purposes, um, these aren't really doing too well on resale right now. It's basically retail, but bags are usually a really good hold item. So if you can hold on to it, I would definitely consider doing that. My initial thoughts on this, I'm not going to lie. I thought they would be a little bit bigger. <laughs> it seems like it would be a little bit bigger than what it is on screen. But now that I'm looking at it, it's actually very tiny. So I can kind of see why this isn't doing too hot right now. It's not bad. You know, you got this Supreme emblem right there not bad but it's just not something i would expect uh i thought it would be bigger to be honest with you you see like the random patchworks and everything which is cool so i think this retail was i think 98 dollars so here shipping tax it this ended up costing me i think like around 115 i'm not sure about that 115 for this little bag i i don't know <laughs> i don't know about that but i'm gonna hang on to it for maybe about next year till fall winter 2020 so when that happens hopefully these go up i guess i don't know all right i had to switch it up a little bit um my battery died so i had to get another one but yeah we always stay prepared out here all right so the next thing that i have copped is yeah i call it this if you follow me on instagram if you follow me on twitter nice mike with two e's underscore mike you probably know what this is and i've been waiting for a very long time for this shirt to come in it came I literally bought it off of day one of Highest in the Room merch. So, and it didn't come into like literally last week. So it's been like a little bit more than a month. And it is the Highest in the Room tie dye tee. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If you see it right there, it's pretty, it's pretty high. It's high. But uh, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, um, I'm kind of disappointed in it. It wasn't what it was shown in the picture and it kind of disappointed me. When you initially bought it, it did specifically say that almost every shirt is going to be different going to be made differently so that that definitely did that but i just not feeling the way they did this one it's more black than it is like colorful i guess and it's very stiff like the shirt is kind of like i know it's because of the print on the back too so i mean it's, i'm not saying that it's not good but i'm not saying that it's the best quality shirt that i've ever put on it's definitely kind of 
under there. And if you don't notice, it actually does have a cactus jack imprint on it. It's all right. I didn't really think it was that great. I'm kind of disappointed in it, like I said, so. I expected more. I expected more, I guess you should say. All right, so yes, already, right? It feels like you barely got anything. All right, so lastly, what I got is um, I got something from Minimal, and I've been recommended by friends, too, about this brand, and they're like, yo, you should probably check it out. It's super dope. They have what you need, and they have what you're looking for as far as, like, pants and everything, so I was like, all right, bet. I was looking at cargo pants because I needed cargo pants, like, badly at that point, right? I found these. These aren't the, the newest, newest ones, but they're the older ones, but it was only, like, 25 bucks on the website, and I got a 10% discount yes it's it is right here so if you can't see that minimal i did, wasn't initially looking for camo it was pretty much the only one there a lot of them were sold out or didn't have my size so this is i think a 32 31 i don't remember or maybe a medium i don't remember so it might be a medium size cargo pants it has the drawstring right here i'm not really going to go too crazy in that it has the front pockets right here and then under that front pocket it actually is a regular pocket so you can open it up do whatever see it's an actual pocket as well so it's not just this part side pockets back pockets basically anything that a cargo would have so I'm pretty excited about wearing these because I don't really wear a whole lot of stuff like this as far as um, pants goes. Um, I don't really wear anything patterned below and I'm trying to get more into doing that because I don't want my outfits looking kind of boring. You know, you need to venture out once in a while. Like, hey, try this out, see how it looks. If it doesn't look that bad, then it's just ain't for you. Like I said, this only cost ended up costing me like 24 bucks. So. I was like, it's $24, bro, like, for pants. Like, I'm huge chilling on that. They're the Snap Cargos, if you guys didn't also know that. It's, this is the first one that they made. This isn't the second re-edition that they made. Uh, I heard the second one's pretty good, but it's just a little bit more stiff than, in comparison to the first one because the first one's made out of, like, partially cotton and polyester, and the second one's just 100% cotton. Uh, you can adjust them to however you like it, whether it be loose, whether it be, like, kind of tapered or so on and so forth. Honestly... With cargo pants, I could put on a lot of like almost bulkier kind of shoes. Like Jordans will look good in cargo pants. I wouldn't say like a slimmer running type shoe would kind of do it. It's usually like your more casual shoes that really go well with cargo pants. So I'm not going to get too in depth with it. But if you guys do actually want to see me do a review for minimal as far as this cargo pants, um, just drop a like on the video. Comment down that, hey, I want to see a review on them. See how you feel about minimal and the pants that were made and the color scheme and so on and so forth but yeah that's i mean that's pretty much all i coughed over the past month i've been saving a lot of money not a lot of money but you know um i'm trying to save for something but that will be for a later time but that pretty much ends up my video thank you guys for watching i know i've been super busy i'm trying to push a video out like every once a week schedule is so busy black friday's coming and speaking of Black Friday, actually, the Yeezy Black Statics, I think they're called. Uh, I don't remember. But the all black Yeezys um, V2s are restocking on Black Friday, so I'd be definitely looking into that. The 380 Yeezys released earlier this month, too, so I think it was like a few days ago. You can already guess what kind of happened with that. A whole lot of L's were taken this month, but hopefully I at least get the all black V2s. I really want those. I need another pair of Yeezys, and I would like a Yeezy that would go with every outfit. That's the end of the video. Like I said again, thank you guys for watching. If you guys do not follow me on social media, it is nice with two E's underscore Mike on IG and Twitter. And subscribe to my channel if you want me putting out more videos. And also ring the bell to get notified whenever I do make a video or a post. If you like more videos like this, unboxings and stuff like that, just smash the like button at the bottom and boom, that's all you need. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.